Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Organized with Joy. I'm Joy and I want to inspire you to get organized. In today's video, I'm going to be deep cleaning my game room and I thought I would just take you along. It was an entire day of cleaning, so this video will definitely have tons of motivation for you. But the first thing I'm doing here, as you can see, is taking down the drapes. These drapes I actually just wash in the, in the washing machine. So I'm going to get those started first. Baby, do your best to concentrate in my Fix it upon whatever you like I'm drunk on a memory back when we were just 17 Oh, then Lake Michigan with your eyes on Next, I am just going to prepare the room to vacuum and mop it. And if you're curious about that table, um, it was put in that position for my son who is home from college for spring break. And those little blocks we have to put under the table so the table is tall enough for his office chair to fit under it. So that's what that was about. But I'm going to go ahead and get the whole room vacuumed and mopped. Gonna sleep again, you love the creature washing over me like rain. Slowly draining all the black out of my veins And here I'm showing you the all-purpose cleaning concentrate that I'm using to clean my floors, and it's the Mrs. Myers brand and the peony scent and honestly this is not a scent that i would have ordinarily chose on my own it was um, a replacement i had chosen a different scent but it wasn't in stock when i ordered my groceries and so this was the scent they gave me but in the end i ended up really liking it especially for spring it definitely made my house smell very much like spring Standing like an angel with your suitcase All I wanted was to be your guardian I wanna waste a while with you, baby, in the living room I'm never gonna sleep again You love the creature washing over me like rain Slow For those of you who don't know, I do have a blog and I have a blog post in conjunction with this video um, up on my blog today. And I will, in that blog, detail everything that I clean in a room uh, when I do a deep clean of a room. And I also have a PDF document available over there, a free printable. If you scroll down to the bottom of the blog post, it'll be available to you and it is just a checklist of everything you should deep clean in each of your rooms whenever you're doing a deep clean. You could print it out and just put it inside of um, like one of those plastic file folder sheets and then um, check things off with a uh, dry erase marker. Or you could print it out each time you deep clean a room and you can check it off as you go. My website is just organizedwithjoy.com and I will put a link to that specific blog post in the description box below. And next, 
Next, I'll be cleaning our fan off in this room. And in hindsight, I realized I probably should have done this first before cleaning my floors. But either way, I'm getting it done. And I'm using the um, e-cloth extension duster to get a good portion of the dust off the fan. And then I'll go back in with my all-purpose cleaning spray. And I'm again using the Mrs. Myers peony scent um, to clean every other surface in this uh, game room here. As you can see here, I am working on my windows and of course I'm using that spray away product that I always use on windows and mirrors. No Here, I'm trying to give you a good before shot of what the track looked like in this windowsill. I don't know if this really even does it justice, but I am going to clean this space next. You always be my queen. In your tight black jeans I will need an honor of your majesty Until my legs get weak Until my hair is gray I'll color all your days Color all your days I'm gonna be honest and say it's been a very long time since I've cleaned this portion of our window and not only that, but it does get very dirty easily just because our backyard with all the trees and leaves that are back there. But I was trying to figure out a good way to clean this and I was really struggling. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to get the dirt out of the crevice there and I'm using a Q-tip and just um, some multi-purpose cleaning spray and some paper towels, but it was very messy and very difficult. And later I realized um, that it's not really gonna work well this way. Y'all, I don't think you can actually see this, but there is still dirt in here. And I thought for a minute that maybe it wasn't dirt because I couldn't get the rest of it out. I thought maybe it was like a velvety type material, just the way the window was designed. But then I was working on the other window and I was able to get it out like to see the actual window frame. So I have a new technique and I am going to do that here and then I'll finish up the other window.
so I figured out that it worked much more efficiently to use this skewer with a pointier end than the Q-tip to um, loosen up the dirt and then just use a vacuum cleaner to vacuum it up instead of trying to clean it up with paper towels and the multi-purpose cleaning spray. And next I'm just working on cleaning all, the, all of these shelves and I am still using that uh, Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaning spray to go ahead and clean these shelves off. Um, I do typically use this product on these shelves because they're painted. Um, every once in a while I like to use a wood cleaning product just to do something different, but that is what I was using on this day. Another thing I like to do whenever I'm deep cleaning a room is just going ahead and going through all the drawers and cabinets in that space and giving them a good wipe down and also just taking this time to declutter each drawer and cabinet. Um, it's a great way to um, just continually declutter in your home and so that is what you'll see me doing here is just cleaning out all of these drawers and cabinets.
always love to hear from y'all down in the comments so please let me know if you're doing any spring cleaning and what rooms are you deep cleaning these days I actually don't exactly do spring cleaning um, I think I've mentioned this on my channel before but I follow um, the fly ladies method of creating zones in your home and then um, which coordinates with specific rooms or areas of your home and then I just choose one zone or room per week to focus on to deep clean and declutter and that way my whole home gets deep cleaned and decluttered about every three months I don't always get to this each and every week so um, there are some weeks that I take off and I don't get get to a room but for the most part it's about every three months Lots of notes telling me I'm making progress. I broke everything. I'm a zombie on the sidewalk, stumbled into strangers, thinking about kissing the traffic. God, it be so quick. Spiders crawling in my
I'd be lying if I said I still believe Our lives will get back to the way they used to be And I'd be foolish if I pretended I feel peace When my heart feels hurt for love without you here with me Oh, stuck in my head late at night tossing it There was a second drawer here in this set of cabinets, but the video footage that I took was blurry. And so I just chose to eliminate that from the video as it really wasn't very fun to watch. Um, but here, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean off this countertop. And I also am going to clean out the sink here. I don't usually clean out this sink and honestly, we don't really ever use it. So I'm not really sure how it got dirty, but I just decided to go ahead and use this Mrs. Meyers baking soda product on it um, like I do in my kitchen just to get it nice and shiny and clean. David? Yeah? Um, can I throw away this ball? This Texas miniature basketball for the pool? Yeah. It looks like it's in bad shape and we still have this one. So my husband is pretty much used to this being a consistent thing around our house where I'm constantly asking if I can get rid of things, but I am really committed to not getting rid of anything that doesn't actually belong to me. I really think it's very important to make sure if items don't belong to you that you ask the person who they belong to if it's okay to let them go, even if it's obvious to you that it needs to go. Here, I'm not sure if the camera is doing it justice, but I wanted to show you just how dirty our trim work gets. And obviously this is 
a stairwell, so it gets a little bit dirtier than the rest of the trim work, but it definitely needed a good clean. I really do love the look of this room with the wainscoting, especially since we painted it white. However, it is kind of difficult to keep clean and take care of, um, but if you're interested, I can insert a picture of what this room looked like when we first moved in. It definitely looked very different than it does now. Do your best 
best to concentrate in mind Fix it upon whatever you like I'm drunk on a memory back when we were just sad The last thing I'm going to do is clean off these end tables and just go ahead and tidy up this space. But I hope this video gave you tons of motivation to get your home spring cleaned or to get a room in your home deep cleaned. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future content that I post. Thanks so much for watching my video today and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Sleep again. You love the creature washing over me like rain. Slowly draining all the black out of my veins until my eyes shine. Cold as a morning. I was loved by a woman. Like an angel with your soul